Papa Truganga. This was two weeks ago in Angola. This bridge is between Santa Clara and Namakonde. I remember my friend telling me how worried she was about this water. It may affect Namibia. Today, I'm just here driving around the villages in my area. This is between Ongwadiva and Ondangwa. And I'm really, really shocked that water has just come this far. We have beautiful villages, but the water is trying to do something that I don't understand. I really got a shock of my life. Water can travel fast. It's honestly just very few days since this water was in Angola. But today here, this is going to shock you because it's also not what I just expected at all. Hey, water flows. It flows as if it is competing with somebody. <laughs> yo, yo. This is so scary. It's hectic. It's hectic. The water has come as far as Ongwadiva. This is a bridge next to the roadblock. And the whole area is, is covered in water. It's so honestly scary. Because the homesteads here are covered in water. water all over it's water all over it's only the road which you can see there the whole area both sides covered in water and i did not even expect to see this <laughs> nature is so scary sometimes then moving on Proceeding, I'm facing on Dangwa. It seems like the streams are trying to swallow the villages in the middle. They meet and swallow. So when I got here, that's when I realized that, aha, uh -huh, Angola is visiting us. And Angola is visiting us with power. Look, no land to cultivate, no land for animals to feed, talk alone about people themselves so it's a situation that one may not be able to describe if you can see all this area this is people used to live here people have to be relocated because this water shortage is arrived and it's still going to cause a very big very big damage especially if nothing is done we are in trouble. I don't know. There is a school up there. It's closed because it's right in the water. The homestead as far as there, they have to be... People have to be relocated. And the water keeps moving. This is a disaster. It is a disaster. Lucky enough, those who constructed this road had an idea because the water is flowing throughout the bridges so clever of them so clever of them the water has so much pressure those guys are fishing here look at those fishing nets advantage it's catfish all over every homestead all this area was dry few days ago Few few days ago, today it's underwater. This is so horrific. It's horrendous. You know, today you are on land, tomorrow you are in the sea. Hey, life is unpredictable. That's a field underwater there. The water is about to arrive in the house. It's approaching the house. Can you see? <laughs> Ash, the whole field is covered. There's a possibility that these guys had plowed and planted their seeds. It's 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 in vain. I'm still driving on. 
I'm still driving on. Business was just as usual at this place two days ago. Today, it's underwater. This flood is just unpredictable. With the water still coming, we just don't know where it is going to end because, you see, these two are meeting. There's a problem here, a very, very big problem. Mm. The roads are covered. It's just a matter of time. I think very soon we won't be able to pass here. Because you see, there was no water here. This is not rainwater. Can you see the tire prints here? We've been passing here. But over a sudden. This is what is happening. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's horrible. The water is still coming. More water is still coming. More water is still coming. The worst case scenario is that this water is not only affecting homesteads, but also schools. Learners are affected at most because the schools have closed down. Because they cannot keep crossing over huge water like this. Look at that house there. How do you go in your house? How do you stay there? The whole land is covered, and I'm sure this water is inside the house too. There's no land to play, there's nowhere to pass by, and this water is moving. Snakes. I'm scared of snakes. And everything else that loves water is in there. And this is just a risk to the lives of those people who are who are crossing through this you know it's it's just scary the water is all over imagine stepping on a snake there i don't know i don't want to imagine i don't want to imagine but this is a situation in namibia now it's not rain water this is flood water from angola and you can see the height. <laughs> Here you need to know how to swim. Otherwise, you, you, you struggle with your life, honestly. It's just, it's just a difficult situation, especially in some villages, especially in the northern part. And... It's just not a joke. It's not a joke here. Flood water has come. So I really do not know. Maybe somebody should avail a helicopter or something. Otherwise our movement. And especially when you are carrying something heavy. But anyway, life has to go on. Here thus people sing to comfort themselves and to strengthen themselves so that they cross that river or water peacefully. Uh, mm, now, is this what we call climate change or what is really happening? This water is clear, it's moving and it's not giving any sign of stopping because this water arrived here within two days or so. And it's still moving. It's as clear as possible you can see under. So how about five days from now? Our sky is also promising, meaning that very soon it will be also raining. Heavily for that matter. Now it's going to be an addition of water. You see, we passed here yesterday. You see those tires? This is where we passed yesterday. Today we can't pass here. Eish. Now with the addition of water from the rain, from our own rain, how are we going to survive this flood? I do not know what we should do. Maybe we should harvest this water. I think that is the only possible way, but it might be late because the water is already 
but it never gave us a warning. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. The best part is that the rescue team really acted fast to relocate people to higher grounds. That is why there is no much tragedy. There is no tragedy. Thumbs up to them. I really just wish I could stop this water from keep coming. But how? For now, let me drive back home. Hopefully that water subsides. Otherwise, we are in trouble. So much trouble. Have a good day, you guys. See you. Till then, bye. Bye-bye. Do you